So here's a question for you. Is there a closer relationship in Washington these days than the one between President Trump and Fox News? From hiring its executives and personalities for high-profile positions in the administration to an infamous campaign rally where Sean Hannity and Janine Pirro appeared on stage with the president. It seems like the lines between the two are hard to distinguish. Lots to talk about. Frank Bruni's here, but first, here's CNN's Brian Stelter. Fox and Trump. Trump and Fox. It's a presidential love story like we've never seen before. Thank you so much for being with us, Mr. President. I love Fox. And in 2018, it was so cozy, critics likened it to state-run TV. Or a TV-run state, with Trump getting his daily briefings from Fox and Friends and getting directions from Jeanine Pirro. I would like to direct my open to the President of the United States. I am pleading with you, just do it. Pirro shows how traditional lines are being crossed or erased altogether. She held fundraisers for GOP candidates all year long. And on the eve of the midterms... She's my friend and she's your friend, Justice Jeanine. Pirro on stage with the president, along with Sean Hannity, who had said he was not there to campaign. All those people in the back are fake news. Fox chastised them the next day, saying the network didn't condone the appearance and saying, quote, it has been addressed. But Fox's highest rated shows campaign for Trump almost every day. Like any couple, there are occasional squabbles, but it's a mutually beneficial relationship. Let's go to a real network. Trump gets intel from Fox. He live tweets the shows and he gets talking points, calling Democrats dims. The dims. Who says that? Lou Dobbs, the great Lou Dobbs, he says that, right? In return, Fox gets promotion. Media critic David Zerowick says Trump knows he needs Fox and Fox friends like Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram. Look at the way he's had to sometimes kiss up to Fox. Laura, Laura, how good has Laura been, right? Do we like Tucker? I like Tucker. It is a remarkable merger. Trump has given 40 interviews to Fox since Inauguration Day. One day, even waking up at the White House, seeing Steve Ducey outside, and coming out for a chat. You were about to see something on the Fox News channel that has never happened. Off the air, stars like Sean Hannity confer with Trump by phone. The Washington Post says advisors sometimes call Hannity the shadow chief of staff. And Hannity's former producer, Bill Shine, is now deputy chief of staff for communications. Shine was co-president of Fox News when he was forced out in 2017. He's still being paid millions in severance and bonuses. Meantime, former Trump communications director, Hope Hicks, is now the head of PR for Fox's parent company. Her very first press release announced Fox's corporate support for this Trump-backed criminal justice reform bill. The revolving door keeps turning, with Trump hiring Fox contributors like John Bolton, now the national security advisor. Host Kimberly Guilfoyle left Fox, joining her boyfriend Donald Trump Jr. to work at a pro-Trump PAC. I love you too. And Fox anchor turned State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauert is now nominated to be Trump's ambassador to the U.N. The Fox influence is stronger than ever, pushing Trump to take far-right positions and keeping the border wall front and center. Massive demographic changes have been foisted upon the American people. On Trump's best days, his TV echo chamber cheers. And on his worst days, they sometimes just close their eyes or look in the opposite direction. Just last week, when James Mattis resigned in protest, Carlson led his show with a border wall monologue instead, mocking Democrats. Only dumb people believe in walls. Walls work exceedingly well. Nothing works better, in fact. The journalistic wall between Fox and Trump is long gone. This former Fox commentator, Colonel Ralph Peters, says the network is now a destructive propaganda machine. Trump was just a gift to Fox, and Fox, in turn, is a gift to Trump. People that only listen to Fox have an utterly skewed view of reality. Now, in response to Peter's criticism, Fox basically said he was just trying to get attention after leaving Fox News. But the bigger point here, the merger between Fox and Trump, it's been visible on television. It's been happening for years, and right now it is cozier than ever. Uh, yes, there have been a few moments where Fox hosts have broken with the president, have challenged the administration, 
but those are the exceptions to the rule. We'll see if they become any more common next year.